Welcome to tonight's special Spooktober um, History Bites. Tonight we're going to be looking at witches. So, the witch, wicked witch, we all know who they are. There's loads of them running around at Halloween. But where does this imagery of the witch come from? The broomstick, the hat, the cat? Well, in order to find the origin of the witch, we have to go back to the medieval period. And strangely enough, we have to go back to a, a section of industry within life, which is the industry of brewing, more specifically the brewing of ale. Yep, you guessed it, witches are related to beer. How good's that? Anyway, medieval period, alewives brewed beer and sold alcohol as part of their, um, their way of gaining an income. It was an extension to kitchen duties in a world where water wasn't safe to drink, and so a knowledge of what herbs to put in to boil it all up and create something drinkable, mead, beer, rudimentary forms of wine, it required a skilled knowledge base and your woman in the kitchen had access to this. So this was a great industry for women in the medieval period. Absolutely fantastic. And if you were really good at it, or you had plenty of children to help you out, you could make a surplus of ale to feed more than your family, which meant you could sell it, which meant income. Perfect. Middle Ages, women able to stand on their own two feet. Brilliant. Bet you didn't realise that before. Anyway, the brain was the necessary skill. Yep. And it could be done by any women of any age. You could be married, widowed, spinster, child, old person, middle-aged, any age whatsoever. You could be a woman sat in your corner over your bubbling cauldron full of ale, brewing beer. This inebriating drink that could render people insensible, really. Are we starting to see where witches might come from? I think so. Anyhow, if you were a successful alewife and you wanted to turn a profit with it, you could head out into the local marketplace. How would you distinguish yourself up there? Well, big conical hat. You stand above everyone else, everyone can see you, they know where to find you in the market for beer. So now we're looking at cauldrons, big hats, looking more like witches. If you were very successful, you could open your kitchen as a, as a tavern. Essentially, the world's first microbreweries are in the back of medieval houses, presided over by women. Very strange. How do you know that there is ale for sale in the house? There's a broomstick above the door. So, again, broomstick, conical hat, bubbling brew, surrounded by women, looking at for our witches, definitely. This is where we see them. And it's, the brewing is a preserve of women up until the point where the urban guilds start to rise. Now, they are funded by the church and they want to gain much more of a handhold on the economy. What they see is that women can make a great profit selling ale because who doesn't want to drink ale and it's the only thing to drink when the water isn't safe. So they start picking on them and essentially the alewives become an easy target. They have the black hats, they're visible, they have the broomstick above the door, they're very visible. What else do they have? Well to keep the mice out of your hops you have the humble black cat. Now I think you're starting to see where our idea of witches comes from. And it's the persecution of the alewives, them being chased away from the career that they've built, this industry that was solely their preserve is where we got our witches from. And there you have it, really. The witch has a humble beginning as a brewer of ale, an intoxicating, bubbling brew, which renders you insensible. Hence, witchcraft. That's everything for tonight. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll be back next week with another Spooktober special. Good night.